Okay, well, let's dive right in. So what we've done is we've grabbed a sword image that we like off the internet to kind of act as our base image. Um, so we loaded that in just by copying and pasting. Pretty easy. And for the prompt, we're going to use a similar prompt from our written tutorial. It's going to be an image of a role-playing game sword. Uh, intricate details, Unreal Engine, 4K, high resolution, and then video game at the end. So while the prompt does matter, the image that you use is more important. With the prompt, just make sure that you're using descriptive words that kind of get your image to where you want it to go, and then go from there. So we're going to start off with just a simple um, 20 samples, crop and resize, make sure it matches the image as closely as possible. Make sure it's crop and resize and not those other ones. Set the CFG scale to 10, and then let's start by moving the denoising strength down to 7 and just see what we get. Okay, so that's not really, that's not really what we want. So because that's not what we want, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not really a sword. We're going to move the denoising strength down to kind of match the image a little bit better to get more of a sword. And that's what that does. Again, we're not, not quite there. Let's see what else we can get. That's a little bit better. Let's keep going. Oh, that looks cool. looking back at some of the previous generations that we had here in my file browser. Let's do another one. Yeah, so we're close. Those look pretty cool. As you can see, we're already getting some good variations here. Let's try and uh, move this CFG scale down just a little bit to be less creative. We kind of like, I kind of like where I am, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a batch of 16 here. We're going to go at it and see what we get. I'll go ahead and speed this up. Realistically, that only took 25 seconds, but I just didn't want to make you wait. So let's take a look what we got here. Okay, these are pretty cool. Look at that one. Oh, I like that one. Wow, look at these. Cool, so again, all, all we did was create some variations from an image that we already liked I mean, these are pretty neat. Oh, well. So we generated 16. Uh, some of them aren't perfect. We'll have to toss, you know, toss some, but we do have a lot we can go off of here. Okay, so now let's add something cool to this. Let's let's add some fire, like a fire element, and try and see if we can get a fire sword. So I'm going to say infused with flames and fire. And then I'll add like magical fire, embers, um, what else? Yeah. This is what I'm doing. You can do something, you can do other fire related words and see what comes out but let's uh, let's try this actually um, the gemstone thing worked really well let's do that we'll say red gemstones put some emphasis emphasis on that okay let's give that a give that a go so 
So as you're waiting in the file browser here, you can start previewing what's being created, which is kind of cool. So that's what I'm doing. And you just have to reload and then you'll see what's being generated over here on the side. Kind of a neat little tool. These are looking pretty neat. Okay, so that, that took around 30 seconds. Um, let's take a look. Wow, that one's, that one's cool. Uh, that one's kind of weird. That one's weird. That one's weird too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. So you get some good ones and you get some bad ones. So you just have to sift through, pick out the good ones. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, cool. There you go. Okay. Okay, so some of these are a little too wild, a little too I guess creative. So we wanna we wanna try and keep it sticking to our original image. Let's move this down quite a bit here and see what pops up. So we want it to really stay close to that image. That's why we're moving that denoising strength down. And let's see what we get. Okay, this looks a lot closer to our original image with some fire features, some gemstones, which is what we asked it to do. Oh yeah, these look cool. <laughs> these are looking really neat. Way cool. Awesome. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, let's do let's do like an ice sword now. Let's let's do something different. So we'll just change it from flames. We'll just say blue gemstones with some ice. We'll have to remove this magical fire and just say magical ice. Um, put some crystals in there, maybe. Okay, let's see what we get. Yeah, those look pretty good so far. Really close to our source image, which is what we wanted. But still being pretty creative, um, creating these ice swords. Yeah, look at that. Those look really good. All right, let's get a bigger view here. Oh yeah, way cool. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah, that one's way cool. Wow, look at all these. So that's how you do it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, you just have to have a good source image, be creative on your prompts, and fire away, generate away. So this tool we've been using for this tutorial is rundiffusion.com. It runs automatic 11.11 with a whole bunch of models, uh, checkpoints, it has an integrated file browser on the right. Um, you can time your sessions, start and stop your sessions. Uh, right now we're just in alpha, so we're looking for people to help us test a few things. We're not open for public release just yet. When we are, we're gonna announce it in our Discord channel. So if you're not already a, a part of that, go ahead and join our Discord and we'll be announcing uh, when this tool is released we will let you all know there, and we'd love to hook you up with some free time 
to uh, play with Run Diffusion. Thanks. <laughs>